Marvelous comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsun Hub on beastsofwar.com. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of mass fantasy combat on beastsofwar.com. Okay, it's the night before the Flames of War 4th edition launch boot camp. We have a Lloyd Amain built. <laughs> no, 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 we're not naming this. <laughs> a Lloyd Amain. Welcome to um, our version of North Africa. If, if you've been watching along, you know we had a little bit of a panic at the start of the week. But we'd like to say a massive thank you to the guys over at Battlefront for uh, digging deep and giving us all the assistance they did. Um, we are now at final layout. So we are laying everything out to get a gist of just what's going on each table so you can see all of the kind of North African, um, Middle Eastern terrain and everything there. Yeah, and then we're going to strip it all down to give the guys space to build their armies. It's looking epic because it's got to that point where you can like sort of scan across the horizon and go, wow, the whole room's starting to look good. But these tables, these tables aren't even looking as good as they're going to look. No, these tables are just at mid-stage because they have to be stripped back down again. Then on Saturday morning, the boot campers will come in and find them all looking like this, which is getting very close to final stage. Now this... So as you can see, we have all of our trees. We have a little bits of desert scrub, rocks. Everything is all now starting to fall into place. Um, if the guys don't have the most fabulous boot camp playing on this terrain. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll probably just tie them up in the studio and keep them as our whipping boys. Right. Yeah. The other thing that we have going on in this campaign is something quite special. We all love campaigns. Um, and at this boot camp, we wanted to take the opportunity to show you guys how a beginner, how a getting started campaign can work. You don't have to just play uh, games against your opponent. You could start out with a campaign and we're going to show you that this weekend uh, because our buddy Oriskany from the website who's flew in from the States Good afternoon, everybody. is going to be taking us through a very easy beginner's version of a campaign of the Battle of Al Alamein. Jim, do you want yes. to, do you want to just show us just very, very roughly, because we're going to we're going to talk about it at oh, great absolutely. length over the weekend. So, all right. Well, um, like Warren said, this is going to be super simple, super easy. This is like you know the beginner's guide to how to actually run uh, a campaign. Insofar as tying together the results of many uh, different tabletop fifty millimeter or really any scale uh, different tabletop games and applying their results into a larger narrative context. So really, this is just a scorecard, but instead of columns and charts and numbers and stuff like that. We're actually going to show where the divisions move, the larger uh, echelon units, the core, the armies, things like that, all based on the results that we see on the tables. So what we hope to see at the end of this is maybe a different outcome for El Alamein. Yeah. So um, uh, you stay tuned because we're going to be talking about this, the different symbols and things like that that you can use in campaign to denote all of the different kinds of units and stuff that's happening. Yes, there will be time when we look like weathermen standing in front of it saying there's a cold front coming in. But tonight, it's all about the train. One final thing, if you're watching, remember there's no Weekender or Weekender XLBS uh, this weekend because we're going to be live blogging we're going to have be lots of fun and there's prizes that's it prizes that's what's prizes. Make sure we said that okay every day there's going to be a winner of a prize to win a prize you get stuck into the live blog every day and comment on all of the different stuff that's happening yeah. watch it comment get involved ask questions we'll feed it back to the tutors here we'll feed it back to Jim whoever every day we're going to be uh, there's going to be a winner the winners will be announced in the weekend or next week, and you are going to win a two-player getting started bundle. You're going to get the core rule book. You're going to get the German army book, the Desert Rats army book, it's a awesome. German uh, starter set, a Desert Rats starter set, uh, 25 pounders for the Brits, and 88s for the Germans. I know, I'm just laying out like the screen at the minute. I'm just oogling up the prize going, oh, this is awesome. So remember to come on to beastof4.com and get your comments in on the live blogs there. Okay, we're excited. 
tomorrow evening it all starts to kick off. We'll be talking to people about the armies that they've picked. We'll be looking at how they all go together. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. We were tired, now I'm just excited. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.